Good evening, people. Good evening. Good evening, coach. Hello. Okay, give me a second. I'm just sending a message here. Uh, and another one here to let know everyone that we are ready. No sé, te escoja yo. No, 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 no. Okay, people, welcome to our new module. Let's see. This? Okay. Okay, um, I'm just preparing the, the manual here. Um, Okay. Let me get the pull up the attendance list for this group. Um here it is. Okay, everything is ready. Okay, good evening one more time, people. Let me introduce myself. My name is Saul Montoya. I've been, uh, I'll be working with you for this module. So let me tell you a little bit about me. And later, you are going to tell me about you. Okay, um, so I'm 59 years old. Yeah, I'm almost 60, I know. And uh, I've been teaching English for ooh, almost 30 years, maybe 25 years at least. With different, different places, different levels, children, young adults, teenagers. Um, I have also worked with technical careers at ITCA. I worked at ITCA for 10 years. Uh, I worked there for INSAFOR programs with technical careers like electricians, welders, air conditioner technicians, uh, industrial, industrial mechanics, uh, car mechanics. Also, bartenders, waiters, business administration, so different technical careers. I work there teaching the basic English and technical English also. Then I moved to these programs within SAFORP. I've been working with Inglés Corporativo for around eight or nine years, maybe, with English for Work program and with this online English K okay, program with Insafor for eight or nine years now. I also uh, took my chance during pandemic, um, during quarantine actually, I took my chance to try 
as a call center agent. I had never done that before, but in quarantine, there were no classes. So and I said, well, it's a good time to try this. Working from home, of course. I work as a um, call center agent for two accounts. The first one was nice. I love it. Uh, it was called Instacart. It's about groceries and deliveries. Very nice. Um, I work from 4 p.m. I used to work from 4 p.m. to not to 1 a.m. And it was nice. I, I liked it because I'm a night person, actually. And the account was what kind of easy uh, working, well, receiving phone calls like every 30 minutes, actually. Two minute call, solving problems for the customer, and then waiting for the next one. Uh, but they closed that account. Sadly, they closed it and they moved us to another account. It was about food delivery with the, it is called GrabHub. Uh, it's like a Hugo or Pedido, yeah, something like that. But the good thing is that we didn't work, or at least I didn't work with uh, the customers. Uh, we work with the restaurants. So our customers were the restaurant calling for solve some problem with their menu, with their schedules, or uh, with some deliveries that the customer didn't pay or some things like those. So we got calls from the managers from the restaurants or the owners of the restaurant, and they were nice. They were nice. Uh, unfortunately, the people here in El Salvador, it wasn't nice. They were they weren't nice. I didn't like them. I quit that job, and I moved uh, to another job as an interpreter. That's a job you can get here, working from home, interpreting for uh, banks. Uh, we receive calls from banks, internet companies gas companies, um, in, uh, what else, phone companies, insurance companies was the, the most. And it was good. Then they moved me to medical area, working as an interpreter for doctors, nurses, hospitals, directly with Latinos now interpreting for the doctor. I had to to be in the middle of a delivery. I mean, you know what I mean with delivery? Talking in medical language? No, a, ma a mom giving birth. The baby was coming. And it was a Latino girl. And I had to tell her. The doctor said, okay, tell her, push, push, push. And she was screaming, yelling, pushing. And uh, that was stressful. But it was nice. I learned a lot of vocabulary. I learned a lot of things, new things. I didn't continue with that because uh, very demanding. I mean, they want uh, almost perfect interpreting, perfect. And you know, sometimes there are some words that you you can you have to memorize a lot, and then reproduce the same thing in Spanish or in English or whatever. And uh, they were very demanding, but they just paid $3 per hour. Too little, too little. When an interpreter there makes $40 per hour. So where did the money go? The money went to the the company that hired us, you know. So I said, no, I don't want to continue with this. I worked almost a year. I got a lot of experience when classes came back. So I decided, no, I am a teacher. I go back to teach. And that's why I am here again. 
Okay. Well, not again, but not 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 right now. But so I prefer to be teaching here with you. I live in. Well, I wanted to tell you that. Let you know that my background with English. Um, what else? I am married. I'm. I have four children. I live in Lourdes, Colón. I have a granddaughter. Yeah, I'm a grandpa. And uh, well, that's my experience. That's my. That's me. And I'm working with Inglés Corporativo for almost ten years, eight years or so. I want to hear about you now. I will take the attendance, and after that, I want to hear about you. Okay, I want you to tell me where where are you from, what you do, where you live, or so speak a little bit about you. I don't know if you have been together in the different modules, or this is the first time together here. Oh, we want to know each other a little bit. Okay. And remember that one requirement is cameras on people. Uh, there are too many cameras off. So you need to turn on your camera. I know 9 p.m., tired, okay, so oh, it's difficult, but that's what Insafor wants, cameras on. But I, I will take the attendance, and after that, please, you're going to, I will give you time to introduce yourself because I want to get to know you a little bit. So please stay present when you hear your name, okay? Carlos Alberto Martinez Alvarado. Carlos Alberto Martinez, I see you, but I don't hear you. Carlos, are you there? Well, he's not. He is not. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening, Claudia, and welcome. David mm -hmm. Alonso Mejia Flores. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Esaú Ismael Tobar. Hello, welcome. Evelyn Janet Marroquín Ramos. Evelyn Janet Marroquín Ramos. Not here. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte Flores. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Glendy Eliset Flores Ramírez. Glendy Eliseth Flores Ramirez. Not here. Isabo Elizabeth Torres Amaya. Present teacher. Did I say your name well? Um, Isabo. Isabo, okay. Yes. Okay, Isabo, welcome. Uh, is Saura Evelia Vasquez de Ponce? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño Lopez. Present teacher. Where? Okay, welcome. Luis Fernando Linares Sierra. Present. Okay, welcome. Marco Antonio Quijano Eguizabal. Marco Antonio. Okay. Not yet. Natalie Rebecca Peña Valiente. Present. Okay, welcome. Okay. Um, Nubia Cristina Morales Benavides. Nubia Cristina. Not yet. Present teacher. Okay, where, where, where? Oh, I see you there. Okay. Odir Omar Soriano Leiva. Good evening, coach. 
Good evening. Present. Okay. Raúl Antonio Pérez Escobar. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Rebecca Jonel Hernández Castellanos. Rebecca Hernández Castellanos. Here yet. Renato Salvador Ramírez González. Present teacher. Okay. okay. René Giovanni Martínez Aguilar. Yet. Ruth Marielo Samaya Guardado. Here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Silvia Tatiana Acosta Hernández. Okay, Silvia Acosta. Ah, here it is. I have a message from her. Who else sent me a message? Silvia, Silvia. Well, the full name is in is in Zoom. Okay, you need to write your full name, please. This is Carlos Alberto. Okay. Okay. Quick review: Evelyn Janet Marroquín, Glendy Elisette Flores, Marco Antonio Quijano. Hey. Uh huh. Glendy. Um, sorry, I can I can't um uh, enter. Okay, but you're here now. Welcome. Okay, Marco Antonio Quijano, Rebecca Jonel Hernandez, Rene Giovanni Martinez. Not yet. Okay, um Paola is asking you here in the chat to write your full name on the screen, not in the chat, okay? So your full name should be there, not only your first name and last name, okay? So when you register to the session, do it with your full name. Right now you can change it if you want to do it. I, I would really recommend it. You can change it uh, if you are in a, on a computer. So there is there are three points on the what left corner or on your screen, or and then this an option that says rename or change your name to write your full name. That is important because it's a NINSA for requirement. NINSA for requires the full name, okay? Not only one name and one last name because they take the attendance from Zoom and they want to see the full name there, okay? So please change your names to your full name. Okay, so I want to hear you. I want you but I want to, you to do it voluntarily but everyone is going to do it please introduce yourself to the class or at, for me because this is my first time with you guys so I want to know you I want to get to know you a little bit so tell me about you who starts Francisco go ahead Good evening, everybody. My name is Francisco Villafuerte. I live in the world is Colon 2. Uh, we are neighbor. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, you can take me for coffee someday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I work uh, freelance uh, for a company insurance. I give you support in the area of fraud. Okay. Uh -huh. I am divorced. I have two children, two daughters, two daughters, two boys. 
I leave it alone for, for moments. Uh, I like the, the ports, the sport, uh, like the music, I like cooking. I have three dogs, um, only that. Okay, nice meeting you, Francisco. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, who's next? Everybody's going to do it. So sooner, sooner or later. Okay, David. Hi, good evening to everyone. My name is David, but I like to be called David. Okay. In that way. Yes, I was born in Santa Ana, but I live in San Salvador uh, since I was 18 years old. Now, <clears throat> actually, I I have, sorry, currently I am 25 years old, and in my free time, I like to go to swimming, uh, to visit some places in Salvador, for example, the volcanoes, beaches, parks, etc. And I like to practice the sport. My favorite sports are swimming and skateboarding. Okay, okay. And I'm so I'm so glad to be here again. And nice to see you. Nice to meet you, teacher, and to my new classmate. Okay, David, welcome. Next. Who's next? One, two, three. No volunteers? Okay. So, okay, go ahead. Okay, my name is Odin Soriano. Um, I am 48 years old. I live in San Santa Tecla. I'm married. Um, I am a seller. Um, always work in, in at the bank, Cuscatlan. Okay. I have two children. Um, that's all. Okay. Thank you very much, very much, Odir. Okay. Okay. Next, Luis, go ahead. Hi, hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Fernando Linares. I live in San Salvador. I have 26 years old. And well, I I work in a, in uh next to Salvador del Mundo. And well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm single and I like too much uh the soccer. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Uh, next. Jacqueline. Good evening. My name is Jacqueline Rebecca Sarmeño Lopez. I am 24 years old. I live in Interfecte. I work in call no, center in pasar, Spanish pasar. at the moment. No, well, no I don't have sí, children, pasa. but I don't no, have sí, pasó, two dogs. Sí, That's all. Okay, Jacqueline, welcome. Who's next? Hi. Hi. Good evening. My name is Isaura. I am 31 years old. I have two children and a, a dog. And in my free time, I like to play with with them. And I like listening to music in English. I like study English. And I sell products, how shoes and clothes and and Nick, and years, only that. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Nubia. 
Morales, um, I am 30, 38 years old. Um, I live in Soyapango. I am a house housewife. I have a uh, one son. Um, I live with my parents uh, and some. Okay, Nubia, welcome. Next. Okay, Natalie. Good evening, teacher. Uh, my name right. is Natalie Peña. Uh, I'm 30 years old. I'm single. I have two daughters. I work at an industrial company. My work is about um, embroider embroidery supervisor. And my free time, I like to go to the beach. And I like to watch uh, horror movies. And I like to uh, go to the gym. And that's it. Okay, very good. Thank you. What's next? Come on, everyone has to do it. Good evening. My name is Lendi. I live in San Paulo, Tagachico. I have two dogs. And my favorite hobbies are listening to music and watching TV. Okay, Glendy, welcome. Good evening, me. Okay, go ahead. Miss, uh, my name is Evelyn. I I from uh, Ciudad Delgado. I thirty I thirty two all year. Um, um <laughs> no sé qué más decir. Este, Your occupation. I have, I, I have to. Two dogs, uh, five, five cats. I like, wow. I like too much. Uh, that's class. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Uh -huh. Very Thank good. you. Very good. Thank that's you. it. <laughs> Great. Okay. Okay, next. Come on, people, come on. Don't make me call you. Hey, teacher. Okay. Good evening, guys. My name is Claudia Garcia. I live in San Salvador. I am 53 years old. I work in real estate freelance before I worked for 22 years in bank. Okay. Very good. Next. I have your names here. So I have the names of the one who has already participated. I know who's missing. So you have to do it. No more volunteers? Good evening, teacher. Okay. Um, my name is Isabel. I live in Jardín de Colón. Um, I am 17 years old. I play basketball. I study medicine in the University UNSA. Um, I like um, basketball, painting, and draw pictures or take a photos and watch K-dramas. Okay. 
Very good. Thank you. Next. Are you going to speak, Saul? Okay, go ahead, Saul. Yeah. Hello, hello, my teacher. Hi. My name is Saul. I am 42 years old. I work as a um, driver right now. I like um listen to music, watch videos. Uh, I love uh, soccer. Uh, Watch and I like um, study English um, um that's it. Okay, perfect. No worries. It's very good. Thank you. Okay, next. More volunteers? Okay. Yes. Who's missing? Okay, it's the U. Good night. <clears throat> okay. Good night, everyone. My name is Saul Tovar. Um, I currently living in the United States in New Mexico. I'm working in the restaurant area. I'm married. It's so, nice you, You're in Mexico right now? No, it's USA. And, oh, I heard. And New Mexico. Stated, New Mexico. New Mexico. Ah, okay. Hey, interesting. I didn't know that. People from outside could could take this program. Good, Congre good. Thank take you. advantage of it. Nice Great. Nice, to meet you. nice meeting you too. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. What about Carlos? Carlos Alberto. Hi, teacher. Hmm? Good evening. Hi. Mm -hmm. My name is uh, Carlos Alberto. I'm for seven years. I have two children. Um, I work in a hospital. Um, my hobby is uh, play play soccer and and be always together with my family and and it's a teacher. Okay, very good. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, Ruth, please. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. My name is Maria Los Guardado. I am 40 years old. Um, I am living in San Salvador. I have two uh, sons. Um, on. Okay. Raul? Hi, Raul. Hi. My name is Raul Antonio Perez. I live in Quesaltepeque. I have two children. I have one dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Anything else? Okay, very good, Raul. Thank you. Renato? Uh, yes, teacher. Good evening. Um, my name is Renato. I'm 36 years old, married with two children, employee. And my job consists of capturing information for the municipalities. It's a good job because you know many places and roads that you don't normally know. I was born in San Salvador and live in Santa Tecla. Okay, very good. Thank you. Silvia? Hello, Silvia. Oh, I think she said that she's working. Rene? Rene? Hi, teacher. All right. Uh, my name is Rene Martinez uh, from Santiago Nonalco, and I am. 34 years old. Okay, very good. Okay, people. Well, so this is, um, please remember that this is intermediate three, right? So you have to be speaking. I see to some of you are kind of shy, so no, you need to speak. So here we are going to speak, 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 practice, practice, practice. Uh, when I send you to the breakout rooms or to the small groups, the idea is that you are going to practice your English, not your Spanish. Your Spanish, your Spanish is perfect. You don't need to practice your Spanish. Okay, you need to practice your English. So when I send you to work in groups, I will do it very often or every day. Please practice your English. Do not disconnect or do not leave your classmates alone. Okay, that's why we want or we ask and in support ask cameras on. And right now there are too many cameras off. So I need to remind you that cameras should be on all the time, okay? So if you have internet problems, please get a, a better a better pack, okay? For internet, uh, oh, I don't know. So, but it's really important because we need to interact, okay? Renato? you want to say yeah, yes teacher yes okay. i have problem with my cell phone camera my son dropped it and it doesn't work oh okay 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 let's see if you can fix it or or the next rest of the month okay the rest of the course okay people well i get to know a little bit about you so and um i i just want to call your attention. I don't I don't I'm not I don't know if everyone has been in the basic levels or if this is the first time here. I, I don't know. But uh, I want to call your attention to a couple of things. One is when we greet at night, when we greet people at night, we say good evening, not good night. Okay? Remember that. Good night is another form to say goodbye. You say good night when you leave, when you're going, when you go to bed, when you're leaving a, a, a place. But when you come, you say good evening. Okay? Good evening. Okay. And the other thing is when we uh, talk about our age, in Spanish, we say yo tengo 59 años, but in English, is I am 59 years old. No, I have. 
We don't say I have 59 years old. No. We say I am 59 years old. My granddaughter is two years old. Okay. My children are 12 years old. 12 and 14 years old. So the verb be is what we use when we talk about our age. Okay. No have. We don't use I have. We say I am. Okay, said that, um, let's get started with our manual today. I hope all of you have already download, downloaded the manual. And all of you have access, do all of you have access to the platform already? Or maybe the question is, does anyone have problems or haven't uh, entered to the platform? No? Everyone has the user and the password? For me, no problem, Coach. Okay. So everybody, every nice. Okay. Okay, that's important because the homeworks are there, okay? The homeworks that... Um, to get the evaluation, to get the grades for the module are in the in the platform, okay? Okay, so let me share here the screen to start with this topic today. The first unit in this module is this. It is called, it's really worth seeing. It's really worth Thing. Okay, what are they talking about when they say it's really worth seeing? What do you think? Really worth seeing what? In what uh, situations will you use or would you use this expression? This, uh, yeah, this expression. Oh, it's really worth seeing. Do you have any idea? When can we? Estamos este, viendo algo raro. Está sucediendo algo. Estamos viendo okay. algo raro. Okay. How would you say that in English? It's really worth seeing. No. What you said in Spanish, how can you say that in English? All right. Um, is like talking about something weird, like we, we are like, uh, like, like something, like mess, 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 something like, like we're looking like amazing things, like things. Ah, uh, amazing thing, not scary, not something bad, not something horrible, but yeah. When you see like something nice, okay? Yeah. Okay, good. Any other, any other idea, people? Okay, we usually say that when you want to recommend another person to see something, okay? So you should go to, uh, what can I, can we say here? You should go to Cuatepeque Lake. It's really worth seeing. Yeah. So that is the idea, no? So when you want, when you recommend something, when you tell that something is so nice to see it, okay, to see it. So we have here some landscape or landmarks actually uh, from some places around the world. Look at this. Look at the the pictures first. What places are these? What places are these? 
the word Taiwan. The first what? one is in China. China. Okay. What what is this? What are you China? The Great Wall. Of ah, China. the Great Wall in China. The Great Wall in China. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what's this? It's a Roma. Okay, this is in Italy. Uh huh. Italy. Do you know the name of this place? It's okay. Italy. Yeah, but it's the Colosseum. Okay, the Colosseum. Colosseum. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about this? What? In the Easy. Yeah. They is Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal. And this, ah, you see the name here. The Statue of Liberty. Okay, and this one. Eiffel Tower. Oh, where is it? It's in Paris. In Paris, France. Yeah, the Eiffel Tower. Yes. What is the meaning of landmark? What do you think? So, these are a landmark. It's a particular Some place. Some of landmark. Yeah, but what is a landmark? That is the question. Okay. Well, you can find out later. Okay, let me read the information about these landmarks. Okay. What do they say here? The Great Wall of China was begun in 214 BC. It is the largest structure ever built. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in 80 AD. It was sometimes filled with water for ship bottles. Wow. The Taj Mahal in India was built between 1630 and 1652. It is a tomb for the wife of an Indian prince. The Statue of Liberty in New York was opened in 18, 1886. It was a gift to Americans from the people of France. The Eiffel Tower in Paris was completed in 1889. It was built for the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution. Okay, so a landmark is a particular uh, feature that identifies some places, right? That is a landmark. Okay, so you see this and you immediately said, oh, that's China. That's a landmark. Okay. You see this and you said, oh, that's Italy or Rome. You, you identify that, that uh, place. Okay. This is India, the Taj Mahal. This is the uh, United States. So it's a symbol of that place. That is a landmark, something that is a symbol of that place, the Eiffel Tower. You immediately think, oh, that's Paris, okay? I don't know if you could name some landmark or landmarks from El Salvador. What would you say that are some landmarks that immediately make you think about El Salvador? Uh, for Boulevard Constitution and the the name is uh, in English and Spanish, La Chilona. <laughs> I don't know how to say how in English. Okay, that is a monument to the Constitution, right? That's right. 
Okay. El Salvador del Mundo. Ah, ok. El Salvador del Mundo. Yeah, definitely. Uh -huh. uh, which town? I'm sorry, what do you say? The stadium, the Atlantic. Oh, the stadium. Oh, the yeah. Cuscatlan Stadium. Okay. Some famous landmarks of El Salvador. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, what? Let's take a look to uh, this conversation. But before reading the conversation, I want to ask you to describe the picture here. Tell me. Tell me what. Everything you can about this picture. Uh huh. What What do you see in that picture? Uh, tourists. Tourists. Okay. The, 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 they are looking at the statue of liberty. Yeah. Okay. So, where are where are they? They are tourists. They are tourists. Um, Okay. In the water. I in like the water, final scene of Titanic. Water in the, around the statue. They the green, are a tourist. The inner thing around that. Okay. Uh, People, place where People is. are watching the statue. Okay. They are watching the statue. They are tourists. Somebody said that they are in Manhattan, New York. Okay. Uh, are they on a car, on a plane, on a bus? No, boat. Oh, they're on a boat. Okay. A boat. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Very good. Very good. Let me read the conversation here now. Okay. And I'm going to record the conversation for you here in WhatsApp. I like to do that because, well, we don't have audio program here in this uh, with this material, but I want to record the audio so you can listen to the pronunciation, listen, practice, okay, train your listening with this, okay, this is the group, yeah. Conversation. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartouche. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay. Now you have the audio in WhatsApp, you can practice later and um, now i will read it one more time okay listen to the pronunciation and the intonation please this is a conversation between uh andrew and james and the tour guide who is speaking about the the statue we are now approaching the famous statue of liberty which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? 
The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay. Very good. Now, please repeat after me. Let's practice together and repeat after me. Okay. Okay. Let me see. Uh, we are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. We are now we are approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors since 1886. 3886 Wow, look at it. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. The statue was it was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It was he designed, designed by the French, 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 French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get it's to huge. go inside? It's, it's really, really, really huge. huge. Do we get, do we get to go, go, inside? go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the ground. Of course, of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the ground. Wow. Stairs? There's no elevator? Stairs? There's no elevator. Not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Not to do the job. Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. Well, um, let's see. Well, this is a conversation between three people. Uh, okay, with okay, I will be the guide, and Andrew, you, all of you, will be James. Okay, only James. I will be the guide and Andrew, and you are James, okay? okay. Let's practice. Okay. So you are James, I will read the rest. We are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty, which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible. 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 The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. 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 No, to the no, top. No, 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 no,
Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course, we can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs, there's an elevator, not to the top, but it's just 142 steps. Okay, well, it is time to stop now. We are going to continue tomorrow. Uh, please practice the conversation. You have the audio there. Uh, practice the conversation, please. And tomorrow we are going to do it in groups. We're going to practice the conversation together. And some of you are going to present the conversation to the class, okay? Okay, people, have a good night then, and see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Remember, write your full name tomorrow, okay? Bye-bye. Bye, Coach. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night.